Hey everyone, it's Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. This is a new to me vendor, Everything Vice, owned by Lulu Haggerty. And she is from, well, I looked before I started to hit film, from Michigan. Lapeer, Michigan. I've never heard of that city, but Michigan. Uh, this is a brand new to me vendor. I've been in Everything Vice uh, Facebook group for a couple of months, I think November sometime. Um, and Lulu had a pre-order at the end of the year. I don't remember if it was a New Year's pre-order or what it was. Um, I looked at my invoice here before I hit play, and I ordered this on December 30th. And I love that she has a handwritten note on here. Beautiful handwriting, by the way. Thank you so much, Ashley. Love, Lulu. So, uh, everything on here. I bought um, a handful of things, small order. Uh, when I have a new to me vendor, I always buy a small variety of things, you know, six or seven items, just to see what are her oils like that I like, does it work in my home, all those things. So, I have to say, I got this order yesterday. And I, on cold sniff, I'm absolutely in love with these products. So much, in fact, that I've requested some pink frosted cake <laughs> blends. Even though I really don't know any of Lulu's blends or which the bestsellers are, all of those things. I even told Lulu, I messaged her and I said, I am just so impressed with your wax on you know cold sniff and just the presentation and everything so i definitely wanted to sit down and film a video um bring some awareness to everything vice new vendor haven't had this on my channel before um so first of all um everything came in here beautifully packaged and arranged but i had to dig into this yesterday um we have the leopard print First of all, the leopard print tape on the box here, and smiley face, as you can see. And then the leopard print paper. And then inside, we have all the goodies here. So this pre-order, I don't remember if it had a theme or what it was. But I have a rose pen, which I want to say maybe this, she knew this would ship around Valentine's Day or, you know, a little bit after Valentine's Day. The craft paper in here is cute feminine pink beautiful baby pink color um and these everything i'm i'm just i'm just so impressed with everything we have a little sample here which if you're in her facebook group already is a little stanley cup i mean how <laughs> appropriate is that i'll do that one last but let's go ahead and dig in this won't be a long video because i only have a few souffles I didn't really, like I said, I wanted to buy, uh, not, the, not the small tiny shapes that she offered that. I don't remember what she offered at the time, but I didn't want to go big. I just wanted to get a handful of things. So this first one here is A Way to a Woman's Heart. So the notes of this are blueberry, blackberry, wildberry mousse, and cheesecake. I'm in love with wildberry mousse. Give me, give me all, all the time. What I have to say that sets Lulu apart from other vendors that I've participated in, in buying from for the last three years, look at her labels. I mean, let me turn my light down so you can see a little bit. That is, it's a lady that she's kind of kneeling down. It's a dress. And we have this beautiful cake in the front, which would be cheesecake. I think there's cheesecake in here. Yes. Cheesecake with mousse and the berries. I mean, that detail is definitely what this blend is. And it says on here, everything vice up here. It's hard to see because of the contrast. And down here, wax melts made with love. And then on the back, look at all this info back here. Everything Vice Wax Melt, her website, this is a souf, souffle, she calls them souffs, four ounces, she has the gram weight on here, date poured, January 2024, and she has, you know, chop a piece, um, 0.7 to one ounce of wax at a time, has all the warnings in here, and most importantly, do not eat, because trust me, I would be eating some of this stuff if it wouldn't hurt me, so <laughs> this one, let me pull this out here. This is a relatively simple one. Let's see, I'll give you a little bit more light here. This is a relatively simple one here. It's just marbled. I wonder if I turn this upside down. It's pretty, it's pretty linear throughout here. These little souffle cups are gorgeous. I love it. This is berry. And I can tell there's cheesecake in here. This is similar to other berry cheesecake blends that are out there. But that wild bray mousse, I had to grab this because I'm not I'm not usually a cheesecake person in wax, but I made an exception because all these yummy berries and that wild bray mousse. 
So that's the first one. The second one here is mixed up like hollow hollow or halo halo. I'm not trying to say that. Um, hollow hollow, I think. This is a delicious one. Filipino shaved ice dessert with condensed milk, young coconut, jackfruit, brown sugar agar, agar, excuse me, brown sugar agar pearls with a scoop of ube ice cream and a flan on top. Lots of yummy desserts and ube, if you ever had ube, I, th I think, I don't, I don't remember if it's purple sweet potato or what it is, but it's, it's good. I had it when I was in Hawaii. So I'm pretty sure I am. No, per, no, I think. No, no, no. Ube is different. Purple sweet potato is another name. T not Toro. T I don't remember. When we were in Hawaii, I had Ube. And Ube is in a lot of grocery stores now throughout the country anyways. This on the label has the little laughing, little laughing girl and palm trees very island it has a little bit it has a little bit of a, a, a drink picture here and on the back you know same fun information this smells gorgeous this is just purple throughout here ube's purple i do know that oh is this good it's hard to describe this it's it probably smells like ube I don't really don't know how what ube smells like because I haven't really dabbled a lot in it other than when, other than when we were in Hawaii. So I do I do apologize for that. It's it's sweet. It's rich. It's 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 rich, kind of like how a, a flan or tres leches cake smells, where it has the the creamy richness and depth and the dense denseness. That's what this one is like. I'm glad I got this one because it's different. I've never had this in wax before. Thank you for, thank you, thank you for giving us that creation. <laughs> this next one I had to buy, Kona Coffee and the dog on there. The dog that is, his background is coffee beans. I mean, come on, how cute is that? Kona Coffee is some of the most delicious coffee I've ever had. It's grown in Hawaii. I think it's only grown in Hawaii, the beans. Um, I did smuggle some home in my, in my suitcase, definitely. <laughs> this one is creamy rich like coffee this is fresh ground coffee brown sugar and vanilla cream this is just sweetened coffee but it's a rich good creamy creamy almost chocolate like coffee kona kona has a distinct flavor to it it's delicious it's absolutely delicious it's different than any other coffee i've ever had before but this this has a chocolate undertone to it yummy delicious this next one I bought two of because you'll know why if you know if you watch me. This is the Queen's Romance with SPC. This is pink frosted cake, croissant, chantilly cream, and strawberry pound cake. I got two of these because I knew I would love this. You guys, this is this is amazing. Oh my god, is that good? This is this is when I smelled this, how beautiful that is. When I smelled this, if you like pink frosted cake, pink frosted cake is yellow cake with delicious, creamy, rich strawberry frosting. This is pink frosted cake, but it's extra creamy and extra luscious from that Chantilly cream and that strawberry pound cake. You have to like pink frosted cake. If you like heavy bakery, give it a try if you haven't. This smells so good. And this is why this one here is why I requested more pink frosted cake because I love pink frosted cake. I these are so strong on cold. These are just so strong on cold. I can't wait to get these chopped up and melting because I really am anxious to, you know, give warm reviews on on this vendor because it's a new vendor to me and I, you know, want to buy more, but if I had to guess they're going to be powerhouses in my home because they're they're fantastic on cold. But I also know that, you know, I got to try it out in my home first. But they are so delicious, delicious and luscious on cold. I have two more in here. This next one is Clarity. And I love that cat with the, I love that cat with the cucumbers. He's in the spa. Something Poppy would do. <laughs> my cat. This is avocado and ginger, 
in Winter Wonderberry type. Winter Wonderberry is from Bath & Body Works, of course. So I expect this one to have a little bit of a body-esque quality to it, but not completely because it has that avocado and ginger. This is so good. Avocado. This reminds me of an avocado cream mask at the spa. You know, if he wasn't a cat, he might have a have a <laughs> have avocado or a cucumber mask on. Um, avocado. Oh man, this is this is delicious and fresh. Very spa like. Very relaxing. This is perfect for self care day for soaking in a bathtub meditation, me time, you know, alone time, you know, if your partner takes the kids away or you're by yourself or whatever, this is ultimate relaxation and clarity. I would, I would melt this during meditation. I, I, um, I do meditate. I tend to meditate more when I'm having a massage, uh, just because I'm, a, I'm able to just concentrate on the hands, you know, working massages massages aren't always the most comfortable thing but there's just something about that touch i'm able to meditate deeply and this is something that i would like to smell so good i love this clarity blend I, I would buy this again i would buy all of these again delicious and the last one here i bought oh i forgot to tell you we have a little uh, be my valentine in here uh the little cat here um how cute i love that sticker this last one here is Tainted Love. This is one of her most popular blends from my from my memory. If I remember, you know, when I purchased this. This is Tainted Love. And I don't know if that's supposed to be like a Romeo and Juliet on the background or what that's supposed to be, but it looks like two um two lovers who aren't supposed to be together. So that's my guess. <laughs> Romeo and Juliet. Uh, this is strawberry pound cake with buttercream frosting, vanilla ice cream, and sugar cookies. I mean, strawberry pound cake blends always are bestsellers because they're just, I've said this, if you watch me, you know, I find strawberry pound cake to be a little light, but I never had Lulu's strawberry pound cake and I wanted to try it. So, Tainted Love. This is the typical Bath and Body Works dupe. I don't know if this is a custom oil that she has made or if it's a dupe oil. To my nose right now, I'm, I'm just trying to make an educated guess that it is a dupe for Bath and Body Works creamy sugar cookie and creamy vanilla ice cream this is basically strawberry pound cake but that's okay i wanted to give it a try um next is my little sample and this video is a wrap so this is pink chiffon teddy this is raspberry blossoms pink chiffon and cotton candy and where she found the uh stanley mold i don't know but so cute uh, this blend here i seen I've seen some people ask for it to be on the next pre-order, and I think Lulu's going to grant that to us. And I'm going to buy this because this is absolutely gorgeous. If you like pink chiffon, the Bath & Body Works fragrance, it's feminine and light and fluffy, and it has raspberry blossoms, which to my nose here is giving an extra punch of of femininity, of juiciness. I don't necessarily smell fruit in here. This is more just pretty, frilly, pink femininity <laughs> and that little bit of cotton candy for extra sweetness. So that's this one here and that's my video. So I uh, thank you for watching. Um, I'm looking forward to see what Everything Vice uh, offers in the upcoming pre-order. And thank you for watching. As I said, have a great evening, a great rest of the week, and I'll see you soon.